Welcome to iLecture Online. So here's another problem where we can see if we understand what we've learned in this chapter. And the example problem states that there's an assumption that the average age of the customers, let's say we're dealing with the bank, and they assume that the average age of the customers in the bank are 42, 42 years of age, with a standard deviation of 20. A random survey of 120 customers, so they want to see if that assumption is correct. So they do a random survey of 120 customers, and they found that in that, survey, that sample of 120 customers, the mean was 44.2. Now we want to have a level of significance of 0 0.05, which means a 95% confidence level that our assumption is either correct or not correct. So, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we do is we set up a null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that the mean of the population is equal to 42, just like they claim. So we're trying to see if it's correct or not. So we're going to see if we're going to reject that null hypothesis or not. So we're going to assume that the assumption is correct. Null hypothesis claims that the mean of the population, the mean of the age of the customers is 42. Now the alternate hypothesis hypothesis, not hypotenuse, but hypothesis, is that it is not equal to 42, that the assumption was wrong. All right, so what do we need to do? Well, when we think about it, if we graph this out, we're going to have a distribution, and we're going to have the population mean, then we're going to, and that's a bit off here let me draw it like this and so we're going to have and I'm looking for my red pen there it is we're going to have a region on the lower side which is the critical region we're going to have a region on the upper side which is the critical region and so we're going to calculate a test statistic to see if the test statistic falls in the non-critical region or in the critical region and of course we have to have a confidence level of 95%. So we have a 95% confidence level. Okay. So that means we need to find the boundaries of these critical regions. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we take the level of significance as being 0.05, and then we take half of that level of significance and that would be equal to 0.025 and then we want to find the z-score of that half level of significance. So what we're doing here is we're going to our table and we take 50 minus this or 0.5 minus this that would be 0.475 and we look up on the table what the appropriate z-score is for 0.475 on the table. So 0.475 on the table it's right there that gives us 1.96 for a z-score. So z-score is equal to 1.96, which means that this will be 1.96 on the upper side and minus 1.96 for the lower side. So now we need to find the test statistic. By definition, the test statistic is equal to the sample mean minus the assumed mean of the population divided by the standard deviation of the population which is then by itself divided by the square root of the sample size. So in this case this is going to be equal to we have a mean of 44.2 minus the mean of the population which is 42 divided by the standard deviation which was given to us oh yes there it is 20 and then we have to multiply the whole thing by the square root of the sample size which in this case was 120. Okay, that gives us the test statistic. The calculator. So we have 2.2 uh, times the square root of 120 divided by 20 and we get 1.205 which is equal to, so the test statistic is equal to 1.205. Now we're going to compare the test statistic to the z-score. And so T and Z. Now T is 1.205 and Z is 1.96. So we can see that the T, the test statistic, is smaller than the Z-score, which means it does not fall into the critical region. So the T, the test statistic, is somewhere about here, 
t equals 1.205, which is smaller than the z-score. So, since it doesn't fall into the critical region, we're going to reject, or fail to reject, sorry, fail to, we only reject if we get into the critical region, we're going to fail to reject, fail to reject the null hypothesis. All right, and what was the null hypothesis? The claim, the assumption, that the population mean that the average age of customers was equal to 42. And with the sample size that we took of 120 randomly selected customers, and the mean of that sample to be 44.2, we want to be 95% confident that our assumption either was accepted or rejected. So we can say with a 95% confidence level, we can say that the null hypothesis is not rejected. It is therefore assumed with 95% confidence level that the average age of the customers in the bank are 42 years old. And that is how it's done.